Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you your weekend spread for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, July 9th, 10th, and 11th, 2021. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so if you are interested in a private one, all the information is down below in the description box below. Also, please take the time to smash that like button, share, comment down below, as well as subscribe if you haven't already. We are taking your $5 Friday questions. If you are interested, uh, I do deal with love here as well as finances. If you're going to get another job kind of thing, the only questions I do not answer is in regards to law as well as medical. I'm neither one of those, but definitely can answer you and help you with your love questions. It is $5 a question. Uh, I will send you the appropriate PayPal request. Just give me an email, a shout out in regards to an email at devdoesreadings at gmail.com with a list of your questions and I will get them done on Friday. Uh, you guys rock. Let's get started here. All right, 10 card spread. I did clarify the one card once as well as the last card I clarified twice. Somebody's gonna surprise out of the blue in regards to communication as well as an outcome and three clarifiers. Let's get cracking here. I feel that somebody is definitely trying to have, here we go, here we go, V-Scorp, the Gohugas to get their wish fulfillment. I'm feeling that there was some type of lack of communication. For some odd reason, somebody out there, they still get that communication. Oh, wow, that's a weird message. All right, all right, I got it. But they kind of slowed down with that communication. They'll pop in like every like three weeks or whatever. It's not like an everyday occurrence where they communicate. Uh, but I do feel that's for somebody specific, okay? Not for all. But really, it's about, you know, having the kahugas because they basically kind of slow down in regards to that communication. They're rethinking their thoughts here, okay? Uh, the King of Swords here does represent more air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But it's really about evaluating. I just heard the evaluating word, and you know I don't say big words. Uh, so definitely from spirit here in regards to looking at the situation of how slow communication went you know slowed down in regards to that communication i feel the reason is is that they were kind of overwhelmed in regards to the thought process here okay i do feel a strong connection with these two people absolutely but right now they're kind of overwhelmed with their thoughts this has been going on for quite some time with that nine energy and i clarified that card of the nine of swords with the seven of wands so it's kind of like they drew that line you know, they got overwhelmed with their thoughts, and I just feel that they're frustrated in regards to their thoughts for quite some time. I feel that they're right now in the process of thinking things over, you know, wanting to come back, trying to have the kahugas, trying to have that strength here to go get what they want, to see the light of the situation. I really feel for some out there that they do see it. It's just trying to get the, like I always said, it's one thing to think and evaluate, it's another to act. So definitely I feel like, and that is fire, that strength does represent Leo. So there's that determination, that action that needs to take place to go get what they want, to actually do it, you know, fix it, is my favorite expression. Do they, do they think about this person? Absolutely. They're showing up as the king of pentacles here, looking up. I always take notice what they're looking at, trying to really make a balanced decision here and having that strength. But I feel they're still stuck in that strength mode, trying to get that, okay? Uh, now, I feel that you could be dealing with fire here, but this is definitely a couple earth versus fire. Uh, it does not have to be. It's really the element, the energy that I do pick up. So I feel that they definitely uh, feel something for this person, you know, and the person that kind of has that lack of communication coming in really has this drive to get them back. But they also, in the same sense, want them back right. The King of Pentacles is known for balanced individual here. So it's kind of like, I want you back. I have this desire to have you back and I want to take this action but I want you a balanced individual and know exactly what you want, son. Because there is love here. Uh, the Queen of Cups is very, is water energy, but she's turned trying, you know, intuitively knowing. Uh, King, the Queen of Cups, now I feel that everybody has a little touch of intuition. It's just how much that we learn 
and follow it, you know. But she is known, the Queen of Cups is known for being highly intuitive. She feels this strong connection. She knows that they are coming back, you know, into their life. And she is, she still holds that torch. Look at that. I just heard that. So the flame still grows. There's still passion here with that Queen of Wands for this person, as well as love with that Queen of Cups. But they're being patient, okay, as well. They know, they know that this person is coming back and still continues to be patient here. Good. Use your intuition. Use that gut feeling. I always say that everywhere I go. There is going to be this communication by this dude, okay? Regardless if he's heir or not, there's definitely communication with that page of cups. Could be dealing with uh, water, like I said, with that page of cups. There could be an apology as well coming in. Not all somebody out there is, okay? But the page of cups, there's two pages out there that I do follow in regards to definition of it. And I do feel it that there is definitely some type of communication coming in in regards to an apology, but not for all. I do feel that this is coming out of the blue. It's going to confuse you when you do hear from them because it's going to come out of the blue with the moon here. That's kind of confusion as well as one of the unknown. Now, there is that 11 for that high priestess, so there is definitely a strong, strong connection, okay? But it's turned looking at the confusing card of the moon. So this communication is coming out of nowhere. You're not going to see it coming. Now you do. Uh, but definitely, it's definitely coming out of nowhere land, okay? But definitely communication coming in for some, not all. There's going to be some type of an apology here uh, for this lack of communication, Let's take cracking here. In regards to a relationship with that higher font, Major Arcana literally turned looking at the two of swords in his head. All right. What do I do? You know, having the blindfold on for quite some time, I don't know what to do in regards to this relationship here. I feel that they are going to be able to heal their mind, calm their mind here in regards to making a decision about their past. There's that strong connection with the Six of Cups here. You do know this person. They are from the past here. But I do feel that they had a tough, tough time. You know, this relationship is heading towards them making a decision. But they have to, they can't stop thinking about their past here. You can see that plain as day with this. What do they want? They want the Gahugas. They want to have the strength here to go get what they want. Now, I do feel because the Nine of Swords clarified by the uh, Seven of Wands here... Is it today? No, but it's definitely in the air. the air. It's in the air. The energy is definitely there. I feel that whomever is, is waiting for this, you intuitively know that they're coming back. Keep going with that. Believe in that, okay? And still have that uh, connection. Still have the patience here for this love because this, this is true love, okay, is what I'm really feeling. This is a meant-to-be relationship, I feel. Absolutely. Let's do the five above, five below. Once balanced, once getting all their pentacles here, they are going to become that king of pentacles. They do think about this person. They just need that last sword to complete that cycle of the mental anguish here. Long time coming. Two nines right here as well. So that just proves a long time coming to get this wish fulfillment. But once they're balanced, they will be coming back, you know. Uh, and they're going to go get you. You know, they're going to have that strength to go get that person who they crave, who they desire as well. The counterpart of that Queen of Wands is the King of Wands. So there is this, you know, a little bit of yumminess, you know, in their Cheerios for you, you know. But definitely there is that passion. There is that determination to get you back, okay, to show the action. I feel that this uh, chicka here, this Queen of Cups, you, okay, uh, doesn't have to be, is really throwing out that energy to heal their energy, to tell telepathically uh, communicate for quite some time to return, but only return when you're balanced, when you're ready, okay, is what that tells me. Being patient for this communication, I feel. Now, see, what's really cool about these two cards is, is that here's that kind of lighthearted, kind of, it's known as an immature energy. It's not that they're immature. Uh, it's just like a slower energy. This is the man. So he knows what he wants. He just needs to get past this energy here. So I feel with that nine of swords, be patient with this. It's coming in, okay? But they have to get that ace of swords, that last sword to get that completion of getting their act together and become that king of pentacles energy. So still be patient with this. I feel that there's still 
a little overwhelmed. They're trying to get their kahugas. They're trying to have that strength. It's just that last sword to be able to go get their wish fulfillment. But definitely I feel that they are frustrated right now, but they are going to be returning. Like I said, could be dealing for some, not all, in regards to an apology here as well. But this communication, this apology for some is definitely going to be coming out of the blue. But they come back because they feel that connection, you know, with that person. Like I said, in regards to this relationship with the Hierophant, looking right at that Two of Swords, this is taking some time to make a choice, a decision, but they can't stop thinking about you, you know? Now, the, the Hermit is turned looking at that light. That's the star in there. So they want to heal the situation in regards to the past because they do feel that strong connection. And that's what I have for whomever this is meant for. Uh, please take the time to smash that like button, share, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you are interested in $5 Friday, just give me a shout out to an email of devdoesreadings at gmail.com. List your questions. I will then send you the appropriate $5 uh, per question PayPal requests, and then we'll get them done on Friday. You guys rock. Thank you so much. Have a great, safe weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.